class. Um, we are going to be doing our pranayama session together. All right, welcome Reddy, welcome Kapi, nice to see you both. So I hope that you've come to class on an empty stomach. It always helps when you're gonna breath practice that you just don't eat heavy beforehand. In today's practice, and actually in this week's practice, we're going to be practicing locks or bandhas. Last week, we got our primitive pelvic floor lock on. So now we're gonna take it up a little deeper to the navel center to Uddiyana Bandha and the different practices that we can do when we have that lock going on. Hey, Tara. So <clears throat> I hope that you've come to class with a relatively empty stomach. If you do have some food, something light, then that's okay. If you ate an hour or two hours ago, that's ideal. Good job. All right, guys, I'm gonna start by sitting up on a block. You can sit up on your chair. That works perfectly fine. Anything that makes you feel open right here from the hip bones to the rib cage, anything that opens that space. If you're feeling a little, sh you know, short or slouched, maybe put yourself some blocks, put some pillows, bring yourself up, 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 because you need this space. Open. All right. So welcome, you guys. Give a few minutes, get people on, because I'm very excited to share with you today a few more locks, working more into the internal pressure of the abdominal cavity using the breath work. These locks are powerful. They kind of milk the energy or they draw the cerebral spinal fluid up towards the midbrain, which helps decalcify our pineal gland, which helps to regulate our melatonin and our serotonin cycles, which is our wake sleep. It also helps in general to regulate our nervous system. <clears throat> but in particular, locks, midbrain, pineal gland just making that association. Now, we're gonna welcome ourselves into our practice like we always do. Relax your hands, sit nice and tall. Feel free to close your eyes. And let's just take 10 breaths to welcome ourselves home. Inhale. Exhale. And we are inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the nose. Inhale. Exhale. Take another few breaths. And as you start to go inward, you start to elongate your breathing, inhaling a little longer. Exhaling a little deeper. Inhaling your spine a little taller. Exhaling a little deeper. Just two more breaths on your own. And relaxing your breathing, relaxing your hands, relaxing your shoulders. Let's just feel our body. Observe your mind or your thoughts. Observe your body and if you have relaxation or maybe any tension, tension is normal. But if you do have a little tension, let it go. Try to release it. Now, very gently, we're gonna open the eyes. And our breathing style of practice today is going to be ujjayi. Ujjayi is breathing where we draw the air through the windpipe so that it's long and narrow. So narrowing the tube. 
when we narrow that tube, it really helps to regulate the blood pressure. So to do ujjayi, follow along. You're going to just sit really tall. You're going to slightly nod your chin in. Don't overdo it. Just a little ding is enough. A little nod is enough. Now, start to breathe in through the nose really slowly. Expand your rib cage and then when you exhale, also exhale really slowly, relaxing your rib cage and giving a little press into the abdomen at the end. Then we start again. Inhale nose slowly, expand the rib cage. Then you hold a moment and you start your exhale. Giving the abdomen a little press in at the end. Now, place your hands here on the abdomen and chest like you see me, and let's try it together. Breathing in, slow. Chin is knotted in. Expanding that rib cage and then exhale squeezing the abdomen muscles backward. Continue with the work. Let's do five of these. Four more. Close your eyes. And as you inhale, can you hear the wind traveling through the windpipe? inhale breath, you want to feel both palms expand out. On your exhale, you want to feel both palms gently connect in. Two more breaths at your own rhythm, listening for that sound of wind in your ears. One more breath. And briefly relax your hands. Sit tall, closing your eyes, and just observe your body. Notice the difference in your natural breathing rhythm. It's softer and lighter. Notice if you can relax tension in your shoulders as you lengthen your spine taller. Maybe notice if your mind is a little bit more chill or tranquil. We're going to begin the second round. You can place your hands back at your lower abdomen and then at your heart or chest. And we start with that nice deep inhale to begin. Nod your chin down and let's inhale slowly. Can you feel the abdomen extend? Can you feel the chest begin to open? Get as far as you can and then on your exhale, relax the chest. And press the abdomen in. Do that a few more times. Expanding on inhale. Exhale to melt the heart, melt the chest, and contract the rib cage, contract the abdomen. Let's do eight more of these. Inhale. And don't be shy. Take your fullest breath. Full, 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 full. Then take your deepest exhale. OK, 
continue at your own rhythm. As you keep going in this rhythm, listen inward. Notice that sound of the wind traveling through the throat. And notice the sound of the exhale versus inhale. Get intimately familiar with that internal landscape. Let yourself experience that with every exhale, you do pull the navel, pull the abdominal space a little bit inward, as if you're making space for your pants. Maybe three more breaths. Feeling the abdominal pulling a little bit inward, really noticing that detail. One more breath. Exhale. Now exhale here, all of your air. Keep pushing the air, keep pushing the air, keep squeezing out, squeezing out until the end. Once you're done, you don't have any more air to squeeze, hold your breath and simply pull your belly button in. If you can add mula bandha, which is that squeeze of the pelvic floor, then add that. For men, that's lifting the perineum. For, for women, that is squeezing a kegel and lifting it. Try to be with that hold as long as you can. It doesn't have to look like anything. Just feel yourself connecting. Belly button pulls back in and just be there. I know that you're holding your breath. Keep holding your breath and just try to relax your body. Feel this connection as you make it stronger. And even if it releases, just reconnect pelvic floor and pulling abdominal wall back and see how you feel being with that. Let's stay another few counts. Let's say five Mississippis, four Mississippis, three Mississippis, two Mississippis, one Mississippi, now relax the abdominal wall generously. So don't try to hold in, let it go. Feel the difference in the interstitial pressure of the abdominal cavity when you were holding versus when you release. It's healthy to do both. Our society really teaches us to hold your core, hold your core. But the truth of our anatomy is that it's healthy to release and contract. This is flexible tissue. We need to be able to relax and connect it as needed in our lives. Now, bandhas. So we're moving on to Udiyana Bandha. This bandha is located just above the belly button. We're going to practice pulling that bandha in and up. We can easily get the bandha in. Everyone, pretend you're wearing a bathing suit on a boat in front of someone you want to impress. You pull in. Now, to pull it up, squeeze Mula Bandha, which is your pelvic floor, and go upward. And that will send it just higher than the belt line. All right, so now we're going to practice that connection. Bikini on a boat. Let's just keep it real. Okay, so we're going to practice that connection. Feel free, if you're sitting cross-legged, extend your arms, place your hands down, elbows are straight. This creates a stop, like you're pushing down. We're gonna use that stop to help emphasize the connection. When you become really well practiced, you will not need this technique. Now in the beginning, we're gonna use it, okay? Everyone take a big inhale, as much as you can. Keep going, keep inhaling, keep inhaling, inflate, inflate, inflate. Now you're gonna take a full exhale. To fully exhale, you need to squeeze out the extra air. So you squeeze out. Once you do, hold your breath, please. Pull the abdominal wall back and in. And once the abdominal wall is back and in, you're gonna 
squeeze pelvic floor and lift. This creates a cinching effect around the abdomen and it does take some practice. So if at first holding is not possible and you release and then have to re-hold, that's fine. Actually, that's a whole other practice. But just create that hold and see how strong you can make it and be there. Press down into your hands, hunch a little forward. Yes, so we're interrupting the energetic line and we're pulling in. Stay in the hunch, stay with the arms, practice pulling in, see how long you can. I'm doing this as I'm talking to you. Keep with it. This is all muscular training. There is an energetic component and there is a component in our central nervous system, but we're using it now to train the muscles. So train, hold, be with it, stay with it. Five, if you released pelvic floor, pick it back up, squeeze and lift the perineum or squeeze and hold um, pelvic floor. And last few moments, and then when you're ready to, you straighten up your spine, release your shoulders, and you release. It's important to relax. Very nice. Now we go into the Uddiyana Bandha pull, and we're going to be holding it in, then creating these little out, in, out, in, out, in wags. So let's start with that full inhale. You guys ready? Here we go. Inhale everything. Inflate. Ready for that exhale that we squeeze out? Let's start. Exhale everything. Here you're going to squeeze by pulling out, back at your abdomen. Hands long, press down. Start the hunch position, slight hunch. Hold your breath. I'm not breathing in and out, even though I'm talking, which is impressive. And you allow the abdomen now to go out and in. And you relax. Before we do this again, let's talk about who should not practice this. If you have chronic hypertension, you should not practice this. You would not do locks. You would only do the inhale and exhale portion. The inhale and exhale portion is great for hypertension, but the locks themselves are not. If you are currently um, over five months pregnant, you would not practice. Uh, the locks either. You would allow the space to be relaxed, loose, and you would only practice the breathing component, but not the locks component, okay? So those are the two, ooh, if you have a bulging hernia, and the kind of hernia where you do have viscera coming out, you do have a little bit of intestine pulling through, you would also not practice the out in movement of the abdomen. You would only practice the breathing and the breathing out, simply because in these three populations, actually, the pregnancy and the hernia, it's too much stress in the internal pressure of the abdomen. With the hypertension, it's just a little bit stressful or tricky to the mechanisms that regulate your, your blood pressure, okay? Now, moving on to the full practice. We're gonna do 10 it long ujjayi inhales and exhales. At the end of the 10, you hold your breath, hunch and hold, and you pull in to pump the abdomen out and in. Are you guys prepared for our practice? Yeah, let's do it. Start with your nice tall posture, shoulders relaxed, jaw nice and relaxed. Feel free to close your eyes. If you liked having your hand on your chest and belly, if that helped you feel the breathing, then use this. When you're ready, let's begin. Inhale. Breathing to your maximum and exhale slowly. Trying to listen for the sound of the ocean in that windpipe. And again, inhale. Exhale. Remembering to slightly squeeze the extra air out. Go for number three. Inhale. Exhale. 
exhale. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Five more to go, really elongating your breaths in and out. Inhale. Exhale. Four more, inhale. Three more here, inhale. Exhale. Final two here, inhale long. Take your time to fully breathe in all of your capacity. Fully exhale. Now the next one is our last breath. So you're gonna inhale all your capacity. And here we're gonna exhale all of our air. Remembering to squeeze the air out of the abdomen towards the end. Putting the hands long on the knees, elbows locked out. Once we're out of air, we're empty. We start to pull the belly button back and forward. You do as many as you comfortably can within your breath hold, and then you inhale very naturally and sit for meditation. You lengthen your spine and relax your shoulders. And just start by observing the sensations in your body. Only taking note, but not reacting. and observe any emotions you might be feeling in your chest or throughout your body. Then you bring your attention to your third eye and observe the quality of your thoughts. Only observation, no judgment. Stay with it, stay with that internal peace. Remembering to step back and take the position of the watcher. So just watching the thoughts, letting them go.
and you're welcome to stay in your meditation as long as you like. Our video will end, and I'm just going to remind you to join us Monday through Thursday from 6.30 to 7 p.m. for our pranayama practice. Our intention is to form a community, and by practicing together, strengthen our resolve to practice and generate this energy for ourselves and for the others. Thank you for being here. Namaste. I encourage you to stay in your meditation if you wish. Be well.